A very warm welcome students. Now is the time to realize your dreams. This is that last minute preparation which will make you realize your dreams. And what is the time left? 45 days. Let me tell you how. Okay. Now, usually December 16th was the last date, last year's date when the announcement came, notification came for JE Main 2021. But this year, till now, there is no notification. There are due news doing rounds that February will be the examination, March will be the examination. But technically, now even if the notification comes tomorrow, it is impossible to conduct in February first week. So examination, you can assume that it will not be before February first week. But there is also news going around that it may be in March. Okay. So irrespective of whether the exam is in mid-feb or in March and or in the April first week, you have to assume that your examination day is mid-feb. Why? Because suppose that even if you have your examination, you have to prepare for your boards. You have to give your boards. So you will not be able to prepare through that time post second week of February. Even if the examination is in March, you will not be able to prepare for the examination. So what is the mantra here? Assume that irrespective of the notification, irrespective of whatever people say, assume that your examination is going to be Jan February 15th. February second week is the cutoff date which should, you should keep for your preparation. And once you have done that, you will have 45 days in your hand to prepare. And in this, what you need to plan? And why is that this attempt itself is your best attempt? First attempt, competition will be slightly on the lower side. So if you are prepared well, the amount of marks which you attempt in the examination, that will give you decently more percentile than compared to the other attempts. And also, if your first attempt score is good, you will be highly motivated, charged, and your result is going to be the best even in the subsequent performances. That is the reason first attempt should be your best attempt. So next 45 days are very crucial to you. And how to prepare? Now some students might have some syllabus left out in your 12th class. So you have to manage your syllabus of 12th and you should also parallel revise the syllabus of 11th. So is it a challenge? Not at all. I'll tell you a wonderful plan how to balance your preparation between syllabus completion as well as revision. Okay. And once you are able to do it well, your score in Feb attempt or March attempt will be wonderful. And for that, don't think it is just 45 days. Don't think 45 is a small number. 12 hours is something which you can happily invest every day for your preparation. So 45 days and 12 hours of preparation, how many hours of you have in your hand? It is 540 hours. 540 is a bigger number compared to 45 days. 540 hours you have. Assuming there are about 90 chapters all in all, there are slightly less than that. Still, Assuming that there are 90 chapters, you still have 6 hours to revise for every chapter. 6 hours proper preparation for a chapter is absolutely sufficient to go through the concepts thoroughly, look at all the model questions, whatever you have, and practice few questions. 6 hours is a sufficient time to complete a chapter. So you have sufficient time provided you utilize it smartly, efficiently. And how to bring in that Smartness, three simple concepts. You may wonder, most of the time of this 45 days, people waste in terms of thinking where to start. Don't do that. Start with whatever you feel, whatever you are comfortable with. Don't delay the start. Absolutely no delaying, no procrastination. Start immediately. Start with simple chapters, simple concepts, so that your chapter numbers go ticking. Surface chemistry, binomial theorem, 
vector 3D. Start with the simpler ones, whatever you feel simple, whatever is simple to you, start with that so that you have completed some subsequent chapter numbers and that will boost your confidence. And also do the topics of high relevance first. Like in mathematics, if you see any chapter you take, there will be relevance of quadratic equations in that. So it is wise to complete quadratic equations first. In different in, different integrals, you will have find a lot of relevance of differential calculus. So it is advised to complete differential calculus before getting into definite integration. So topics of high relevance, plan them first. And then whenever you feel like you are not able to complete this preparation or you are depressed or whatever be the reason, don't stop your preparation, just switch. Switch on to some other subject or some other chapter. Let's say you find difficulty with X chapter in mathematics. Don't stop there. Move on to Y chapter of physics, Z chapter of chemistry. Never ever stop. These 45 days are very crucial to you. For whatever reason, don't stop your preparation. Just switch from one chapter to another if you are not comfortable with anything. Then, practice is something which is very essential. And how to practice? That also I will tell you. Just when you are having six hours for your preparation and in that you have to complete a chapter. Now you cannot go through the textbook thoroughly. So depend on the quick notes which you have made. Your notes quickly revise them or any summary sheet. If you have a summary sheet, concept summary sheet of the chapter, glance through that. That will give you a quick revision of all the concepts. And then focus on our case. What are our case? Previous year's examination. J.E. main has lot of attempts already conducted. There are lot of questions which are already in place. And J.E. main questions repeat. The same model of questions are again asked again and again. So you just focus on your That is the most important area previous year papers with you and just glance through the question. Again, don't start working from question on question. Don't solve. Just scan through the solutions. Whatever questions you think you already know, don't solve them. Just scan through the solution. And any question when you read it, if you find some difficulty in terms of getting the idea or if you think you don't know the concept, work on the concept, solve the question. If not, then go get the solution. So whatever you are already comfortable with, don't waste time in terms of solving those questions. Just scan through the solution. Scan through the solution in your mind. Scan through the solution in the book and see if they are matching. And if it is right, quickly you can do that. So 10 questions to solve, ideally it will take about 25 to 30 minutes. But to scan, you will be able to finish somewhere in 8 to 10 minutes. That is how you can optimize your time. And then, no procrastination. For whatever reason, please don't postpone your preparation. We are racing with time. Here, winner is the one who ideally uses the next 45 days. Next 45 days, if you are able to manage the entire 545, 540 hours to your best, you will be the successful person. And then, I'll revise what we need to do. Simple concepts first, topics of high relevance first, and also 11th class syllabus is something which you have to start with. So initially, try to complete 11th class syllabus before because for whatever reason, some of the chapters are still pending. Even during the preparation of your boards, you can still glance through those chapters of 12th class. And also, most of the chapters in 11th will have high relevance for 12th. So it is advised to start your preparation, revision with 11th class syllabus, parallelly keep working, second class, whatever chapters you have not completed, start with 11th class, simple concepts and concepts of high relevance first. And once you're done with 11th, then you can move on to 12th. So if any part of 12th class is still left, you can still use the time during your boards while preparing for boards, mathematics, boards, physics, and boards, chemistry, you can also glance through the JE main concepts or JE main problems. And positivity is the key. 
day by day, these 45 days, ensure that along with the practice, your positive attitude is also increasing. Success comes when your growth is in an exponential way. So gradually, day by day, you start to feel more and more positive, more and more positive. Completion of every chapter should boost your confidence. Completion of every set of questions should boost your confidence. Exam on exam, the model questions, whatever you do, every exam to next exam, you have to boost your confidence. Keep that in a progression. And when you see this in a progression, if your expectation is, let's say your growth is from 100 to 110 to 122, so on up to 150 till the last mark exam, suddenly you see a jump of 30 to 40 marks in the final examination. But if you are having a study thing, there is all likelihood that there will be a dip. So boost your confidence gradually. Maintain that positive frame of mind throughout. Procrastination, not needed. Positivity, completely needed. And practice with smartness. Scan wherever possible. Don't solve unnecessarily a lot of questions. Smartly, whatever you know, just scan through the solution. And whatever you don't know, spend some time in terms of understanding what went wrong, why we, you were not able to do, and what is the relevant concept and revision of that. And this is the time when you should have one teacher as your mentor, seek their advice, and for whatever reason, don't post your, own your preparation. If you're not comfortable with a chapter, J men, you need not score 100%. Even if you are able to make it to 60 to 70 percent, you get a wonderful seat in NIT. So already there is a sufficient choice. You need not do everything. So if you are not comfortable with any chapter, don't get disappointed. Just move on to the other chapter. Just move on to the other chapter. So I hope you will make the best use of these 45 days and come out with flying colors. All the very best.